Rain is never going to stop. I need to empty out the van. I have uh, a few things to do with it and get that ally refurbished. They're valid. Quick service. A scratch on it I have to do. And then she'll be up for sale. Some lucky man. Got this rain signal. Oh, as you can see, I got my hair cut as well. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to Colin McAvoy. He's working over in Canada for Ireland Construction. Drives a digger. And um, I just want to say congratulations after coming out. And um, there's not enough men coming out driving diggers because there's a serious amount of gay men drive diggers. And I think, you know, there's no shame. No shame anymore. You can suck whatever you want these days. Vicky clean the way, look. <laughs> no diesel. She's leaving that to me. Fair sound. Fair sound. Why not? Why not, Vicky? <sighs> For my next magic trick now. Martin was supposed to come in and help me do it, but fuck it. Can't be that hard. I fucking do it myself. So why is it like ripping up a bit of fucking timber? And putting down some new stuff. Well, there might be a bit of measurement involved. Sure, fuck it. The weather's really against me. This is a lot tougher than I thought. The ones I have my trusty crowbar. That bad boy. Taking them all apart, pulling the nails over. And when you're doing big building jobs like this, I just step out of the rain now for a minute. PPE is very important. So, luminous jacket. These, I can't find my. Helmet must be in the machine, so you can't scrimp on safety. Do you know what I mean? Where's my trusty hammer? Hammer! Another big, big, large part of the building is sitting in out of the rain watching what you have to do next. Not much progress. Rain's again me. There's my trusty skill saw. I bought that because I'm very skillful. Skill is important. If you don't have skill, don't go to buildings because it's all about skill. You need to know your job because you make a right fucking shave and then everyone will be laughing at you. You don't want everyone laughing at you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, if you're a lad on the building site, no, look, if I was been paid to build, I wouldn't be doing jobs like this. Like, this would be too. Like, if you're the lads pulling it up, you really are a bit of an eager and people can't trust you with any more than a crowbar and a prize bar. But if you're doing what I'm doing here now, baiting these out and pulling them out, everyone is laughing at you. You are the eager on site. People probably spit on you when you're eating and take your sandwiches and put a big bar of shite on them. And you know what? You probably deserve it. Oh, Jesus, that might look like a bomb hit now. Serious amount of work going into that. I am 100% confident there's some new that I can make that look like new. Right, not 100% but I'm definitely a solid 25% so I'm going to drink. This is the important bit. Now people call these a square and anyone who calls them a square is a fucking eager because all day long, every day of the week, that's a fucking triangle, right? So fuck all the gas from my weaponry. It's called a nail glock. Then you have your little, you know, just... Now I won't need to measure because I'm too fucking clever. And I've fucking this money man today. My god, Martin's gonna be raging and come in. <laughs> oh, the fucking eager. English money, fuck that. This was a hard one, I had to use my uh, ruler flick blade. Not a fucking easy oak to use, but when you're trained, oh, no fucking butter. No, put this down. Put it down. Yeah, I'm not going too bad. Now there's a lot of people who would. Do an awful lot of fucking time wasting measuring and stuff. I just get my pen. My eyes so trained at this stage. I just go like this, look. See that? And just fucking spot on. Get me saw on that one. <laughs> fucking easy. I want to see you now. Jesus, I'll tell you something. I am some man. Uh, use my little spacey thing to keep it the same. Now my trusty nail glock. Boom! Oh, Jess, the rain came again. 
It's fucking after nine. I had only this tricky bit to do. I'm fucked. Thank God I was on my own. I didn't need anyone at all. If you're a real man, real men can do all them things on their own without any fucking help. The Martin! Me and Vicky have heard a million times, haven't we, that moving is the most stressful thing that you can do. Well, I've been off this week. I was sick for the first three, three days. And we have not seen each other. We've only said hello to each other in passing in the last week. She has her fingers worn to a pint my cleaning. Nails, my nails are gone. Aww. Look, I have like one left. I'm cleaning. Well, two maybe. And um, yeah, it is stressful because we're trying to get into the other house, get clean, get everything done, trying to organize trades. And then we're also trying to get this ready for sale. And we want it perfect. And it's hard. It's hard. It's tough. It's tough. There hasn't been a lot of rain going on. Stop. But the nice young think I could muster some energy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a masterpiece. Been up since the crack of dawn trying to fucking sort this shit out. Look at this now. A perfect bit. Look at that. She has just swear it fucking grew there. That's a right job. The last and perfect piece. I should have started with that one. You can say what you like about the baby bull nose, but I'm not fitting the whole kitchen in the back of it. Look, there's loads of room. Loads of fucking room. My fucking job. My fucking job. Lads, if you only knew the work, the work that we've put in, in the last week. Oh, there's the old van. See you. Oh, there's no way I'm not going to rope this lad into doing something. Best electrician in Abbeyes. Loves wind turbines, that lad. Oh, oh, bearing gifts. <laughs>